What it do, what it do, y'all. Thank you for tapping in one time. We're about to get into a new reaction with Dr. Umar. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell one time. And welcome to Crazy Minded Television. Let's go. Statistics say black women in America are five times more likely to get an abortion than other groups, which I feel is wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. Um, but that ain't people right. who are anti-abortion usually approach the issue from a moral standpoint. Do you believe abortion in the black community is viewed as a moral issue or a political issue? Mm, both. both. I think abortion yeah. in the black community is viewed as both a moral issue and a political issue. Yeah. For me, it's more about the politics than the morality. Because when you view it from a moral perspective, that leads to condemnation and it leads to judgment. And I don't think that really benefits us as a people. Um, it is not my place to tell a woman what to do with her body, but at the same time, as Africans, we are fundamentally a pro-life people because we understand that when you give birth, that is the reincarnation of an ancestor. That is a life coming to this world with a specific purpose given to it by the Supreme Almighty God. So, mm, so. That is a good point if you look at it like that from that standpoint because um, a lot of people can't even have kids so when people do get pregnant and they have the baby it's an almighty blessing let alone it's like he said it is a I never thought about it like that but now that he said it it, it hit my attention span it's an ancestor being reincarnated because I, I believe certain little stuff you know what I'm saying uh, 360, everything evolves, it turns back around, what goes around comes around, blah, blah, blah. That's a, that's a good point. I never thought about that. You have to look at it from the spiritual perspective. You're actually stopping the destiny right. of the universe and the destiny of the black race by aborting that child. With that being said, if you have a young sister who doesn't have any family support, you have a young sister who's uh, the father of her child, isn't interested in being there, he don't want the child. You have a young sister dealing with poverty and people are constantly telling her that you don't wanna have a baby this early. And then you look at the reality that young mothers tend not to graduate high school on time, if at all. Uh, they often tend not to graduate college, if at all. Now we all know dozens of black women who achieved in spite of, but there's so many thousands more who did not. But I think we have to look at the fact that we have aborted over 3 million babies since the 1970s. I mean, we have to look at the fact that Margaret Sanger and Planned Parenthood International and her Negro Project were all part of the American Eugenics Crusade to get rid of black life. Uh, uh, he hitting the keystone right there. That's a lot, too. He said 3 million. That is a lot. Because as you may know, black people are the majority, but they say we're the minority. We're the minority based on poverty and lower economics. But we're the majority as a people worldwide. In certain states, it's a minority in cities, but you know, you count the entire world then. There's so many people that's black and that's mixed with black, which is still makes you black. Uh, yeah, it's a whole lot. This is a good topic. It, it, it's no secret that 75% of Planned Parenthood abortion centers are located within close proximity to black communities. Even when you True. look at what Planned Parenthood is doing in the Caribbean, what they're doing in Caribbean, Africa, Caribbean, if you look Caribbean. purely at the numbers, there's no way you could conclude, even if you didn't know the racist history of Planned Parenthood and Margaret Sanger, if you just look at the statistics, there's no way you could not conclude that this is clearly a diabolical agenda introduced in the black community to bring about genocide. Poverty is the fourth leading cause of death in America. Do you see the poverty situation improving or getting worse for black people in America? Poverty will only get worse for black people. I think it's gonna get worse for everyone. But when America catches a cold, we get the flu. We have to understand poverty is absolutely essential for capitalism to survive. In order for capitalism to survive, you gotta have a large, exploitable population of free laborers. If there's no broke people to slave for the corporations, the corporations can't get rich. The whole- That's true. Um, 
the corporations fail, the companies fail, the, the businesses fail. That's why, unfortunately, they had this thing where, I know in California, I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's in other states too. In California, a lot of companies will hire mainly, I'm gonna say mainly Hispanics, because they know they need their green card and they're not even supposed to be out here. So they hire them for a lower, lower wage. You catch other people like Jamaicans and different little stuff, uh, people from different uh, countries that need green cards as well. But for most of the part, it's the uh, Hispanic community, you know what I'm saying? When they trying to, they done got out here and they illegal basically. They trying to, they let them work, but they don't give them like, if the minimum wage is $17, they're going to get them like 12 or 10 You know, they're going to get them like something real low. And they're going to take you because they're not supposed to be out here. they just happy to be out here. They're happy to have a job. So that's true. These companies, they will give you the lowest amount possible, even if it's under the correct amount of the wage that's supposed to be abide by the state. Because they're trying to pay less, make more, and keep going. That's all they care about. It's a numbers game. They'll fire you like a motherfucker from a job fast. I know they did it to me before. They'll fire you fast. You get up there every day doing what you got to do. And they'll replace you. Because it's a numbers thing. It's like jail. It's a numbers thing. 65381. Bye. You feel me? The idea behind capitalism is you make people work for pennies while you rake in millions. Right, And right. because of that, for that reason, there will always be poverty. But the reason it's going to grow now more than ever in the past is number one we have artificial intelligence coming and with artificial intelligence you're going to see the elimination of a lot it down. of jobs that otherwise help black people take care of their bills i read recently mcdonald's laying off thousands of people walmart laying off Damn. thousands of people microsoft laying off thousands of people google even laid off thousands of people so when i look at artificial intelligence and when i look at the Good advance point. of technology it appears that it's going to lead to an ever shrinking, a smaller uh, market for employment. It's yeah, that's true. I've been doing my little research on that. Uh, they have certain jobs that if, it can, if you can be replaced, they're going to end up replacing you sooner or later. So it's best to have your own business or have a job where people not going to trust no artificial intelligence. Some some jobs, people would be like, nah, I need a person um, I want to talk to and deal with. So, the trades is always good, and then you got to just do your homework on what's going to really be beneficial that they, they can't, you know what I'm saying? They can't do. There's certain stuff they just can't do. Or even if they can, people are going to be like, nah, I don't want no, you feel me? I want to pull up on a human for this job, or I want, you know what I'm saying? So you got to do your, your research and everything uh, on certain stuff. Anything that's like this, even like a personal trainer, which they're already doing that, you know, they can replace it. But some people still need a personal actual trainer because they need that person in their face helping them. So a job like that, certain little jobs, you can still wiggle. So you gotta find what's what, like construction. They can't handle AI construction, so construction is gonna be cool. It's certain stuff that you that you gotta dig into that's like, okay, they can't replace this. Like, this has to be a damn human doing this because you could just do some shit and it don't be right. So yeah, that, that's, that's a biggie right there. And black people need to really start thinking about this right now and get ahead of it before it's too late. And I also think this poverty is being engineered as well because poverty is one of the most effective weapons you can use to keep down population, to keep up crime, uh, to keep up political disorganization. Uh, impoverished communities are rarely effective politically, rarely because why they're overly consumed with their day-to-day -day needs being met. So I think a lot of it is being engineered. You know, in the black community in particular, we know that they came into our community and destroyed the economic foundation, the industrial building trades back in the 1970s. They induced the poverty to give rise to the mass incarceration system in the mm. single parent to female headed household. So I think a lot of it is engineered, but most of it is a byproduct of capitalism. Right. And one of the things I try to get black people to see and to understand, capitalism 
only work because they had a 500 years year head start through our enslavement. Right, right. Slavery was the original capital. We were the original investment. We were the Hell original yeah. stock. So of course, capitalism looks good because you're not looking at it from the perspective that it got a 500 year head start by free labor of African people. Free labor capitalism is not billions. a system for humanity. Why would you want individuals to dominate the economy that everybody has to use in order to live. Capitalism is exploitation, and poverty is one of its side effects. It's a hard beat. Exploitation on black America. You heard what he said. But yeah, that, that's true, man. They, uh, they target the black community. They've been doing that forever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's 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 a it's a whole game, a whole map they set out. You know, like I, like you said, they uh, for five hundred years they had a head start. They had billions of dollars made basically for free. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't have to pay no. What well, they giving you some some cut up pig and some uh, some water and you know some bread and shit. They was they was planting that shit. So they was planting and raising them and them pigs and. Planting the garden, so the, the fruits and vegetables, so they that shit was technically free too, to a certain extent. And all of all the billions of dollars they made, that big. That's why you see some people. I've seen people to this day. A lot of these old white people, they be rich as hell, and I'm like, they live in these little areas. It be a grip of them. Like, how the hell y'all live over here? This house big as hell, it's like a mansion, and it's like a whole. It be whole communities full of them. And then I hit it hit me, and I'm like. Y'all got some of that old money from niggas like, you know, me, my ancestors. Like, y'all not working. Y'all probably never worked. Y'all got, you know, passed down. What you call it? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, generational wealth. They got passed down generational wealth from, you feel me? Because you can just tell certain people, or when they act too nice, it'd be different little shit. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, if you didn't do it, your 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 auntie did it, or your your, your dad, your 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 grandma. Y'all got some money from some with some nigga shit. You feel me? You can just tell, but yeah, they got a head start. But it's all good, man, because you gotta remember what goes around comes around, and don't nothing last forever. Remember that. It's gonna take a while, but we gonna get ours back. You see the shirt, savage. Yikes clothing. Shout out to my boy D-Nice. But yeah, most definitely. With that being said, thank you for tapping in. I was real mellow on this video because I'm really trying to enlighten y'all at the same time and hear the education myself because I don't know everything. I know a lot, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a jack of all trades. So if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell one time and all that. And if you want me to react to a certain video, just leave a comment. It's all good. I do everything. Reactions, everything. You feel me? We growing, we growing, and that's how it's going to be. So further notice, thank you. And have a blessed day. One love. Peace.